Should we create a line here? Don't cross my line. Can I go home? <laughs> hey everyone, Aaron here. I'm an ex-hotel chef and now I'm a food content writer for Safely.com. So in today's episode, we won't be comparing ingredients but rather I'll be having a very friendly cooking competition with a fellow colleague. He squat there very long. Eh? So he's Enso. So Enso used to be a cooking instructor. A uh, Japanese cooking school. Yeah, I've been there, uh, very atas and very nice. So today, we're going to each make our own version of instant noodles and see which is more popular with our colleagues. So today, I'll be cooking a fragrant salted egg instant noodle with spam. Okay, first I'm going to make a chicken rice inspired flavour oil using pandan leaf, garlic shredder and ginger. And then I tried it before. Oh my god, it smells like chicken rice guys. Yeah. It smells so, like chicken rice already. I learned from my Chinese colleague who does chicken rice. Yeah. Uh, I learned, I learned from, from, from uh, TikTok. Uh, TikTok. I'll boil all the ingredients in the oil and let all the fragrance be infused into the oil. Then later on, when it's ready, I will strain it and I'll keep it aside. Okay, then next I will do my Hollandaise sauce using the normal egg yolks and white vinegar and whisking it under a hot water bath until it's thick. You can see the egg yolks are becoming a little bit paler. Mm. But you have to keep whisking it. If not, the heat will actually cook it, then it will be quite scrambled already. Cooking is rather too young. So when it's thick enough, I will throw in the fragrant oil that I did earlier on. Then the last step is to add the salted egg yolk. Can you use powder, chef? Can ah, but I think the, the fresh one might taste nicer. Powder can be a bit artificial tasting sometimes. Some of the egg yolks are a bit solid, so I'll just mash it with my fork. And uh, chopped Chinese celery. The assembly is I will cook my instant noodles, I'm just boiling the instant noodles, then strain it away. Okay, so I'll just use the fragrant oil earlier, I have some balance left. Then I will cook uh, ugly oleo style with minced garlic. Then I'll use that fragrant oil a bit, then to sear the luncheon meat. So once the luncheon meat flavor and aroma has released, right, then I will throw in the instant noodle and cook it ugly oleo style. So the final step is just to pour the salted egg hollandaise over the noodles and that's it. And I'm going to steal some Julian Japanese cucumber from Ansel who has cut it nicely for me and put it as garnish for my noodles. That was very fancy. And I will be making a refreshing cold instant noodle. So I'm just going to warm up some oil and we're going to splash it into the garlic spring onion and the chili flake. Okay, so how I know where the oil is hot enough, right? You just put like a little chopstick in fact to see if it bubbles a little bit. Okay, oh, you can see a little bit of bubbles are forming. And I'm going to pour the oil in. I've never done this before, so... Woo! Wow! Sick! And then we're going to make the sauce base with chili oil, sesame oil, vinegar and soy sauce. And the base of it is just going to be pouring in some chilled Sprite. If you all watch our Hai Tilao Hacks Part 2, we actually did this with the sweet potato noodle. Hey guys, it's more Huh? Okay, so when you're done with this, I'm going to put it in the fridge just to let it chill. Noodles, we'll just cook it normally, uh, dunk it in some ice water when it's done. And we'll just combine it with the sauce. Huh? Garnish with some spring onion, julienne cucumber. All right, so now we're going to be inviting our fellow colleagues to come in and try. Feeding time, Claire. Tell us your name. <laughs> Let's choose which one. Oh, oh. Yeah, one of each. Uh, this one cannot take spice one. Okay, we have Miss Priyanka, Miss Pavin Miss Chopra. Priyanka. Oh my gosh. Uh, is it good? There's no yeah. chili, but there's no like heavy chili. Yeah, we're just shaking your head. Mm. 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 I feel like this one is quite good for late night snack. Mm. Okay. It's a bit spicy. I don't taste any spice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but there's quite a bit of lao kang inside, I just think. You tell me like after I eat. Like the Sichuan chili mm. dumpling vibes. So it's spicy and sour. Wow. I think it's a bit like an appetizer. It's like the Thai The dumpling, the vinegar, oh, the yo, chili chow, oil. Mm. It's more sour than it is spicy. It's not that bad, right? Mm. Oh, this one looks more my style, actually. I'm a very basic luncheon meat. Oh my god. Is that cheese? Uh, it looks like cheese. Salted egg. It's chunky. 
It's very, very interesting. Huh? What is it giving? Any other specific aromas that you... I'm sorry, what do we find out? <laughs> okay, I like lamb chen meat a lot, but I should like the kick from that one, the she first one. The kick. This one, a bit heavier. I mean, clearly I like this one more. So how has your experience been so far? With the company? With the noodle! With the noodle! <laughs> So I think this one. I actually like this one more. Okay. The spicy one. <laughs> Korean carbonara. Thank you. Okay, I like yours better than mine. Um, I like mine, uh, but I also like yours. So hands down, we have a winner today. It's Ansel. Because I've got two votes. He has six votes. So well done. Thank you, thank you. So I'll see you in the next episode of The Office Chef. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and show it to all your friends. Bye! Bye!